Hey guys, it's Kaylee here. I have a knife review for you guys today on the CRKT Sakimore. This is designed by the one and only James Williams. I've had this knife for a little over three weeks now, and as most of you may know, the reason why I don't like doing a review on a knife right when I get it is because I obviously like to get a good feel for it. I like to test it out and really see what it's fully capable of before I give you guys my honest opinion and uh, do a review and stuff like that. So I've actually taken this on a couple of different camping and hiking trips with me. I've used this for batoning, I've used it for cutting down small trees and limbs, I've used this for clearing brush and bushes and overgrown grass and weeds and stuff like that. I've also used this in food prepping and I've cut a million different things with this and it slices and cuts incredibly well. And I have to say that not only is this knife absolutely beautiful, it's gorgeous, but it will complete just about any task or chore that you need to, to have completed. So I mean I'm really impressed with it and I'll show you guys how well this holds up and what it's capable and stuff at the end. I'll do some batoning and I'll cut some things and show you guys. But first I wanted to go over all the information and go over the specs and stuff. So I'll get up nice and close so you guys can take a really good look. So when you're not using this or uh, carrying it, you guys can keep it in this beautiful wooden box that it comes in. So as you guys can see it says Sakimore on it, which means protector. And then you have your beautiful knife inside. I mean, I really do absolutely love this knife. This is honestly my, probably my new favorite knife. It's incredible. It really is. It's razor, razor sharp. So the blade length is 5.76 inches, 146 millimeters. As you guys can see, it has the high satin finish on it. So you can actually see my reflection in there. Really cool. The steel is a one tool steel, which in my opinion is excellent steel. It's very strong, holds an edge really well. Um, very great, great steel, high performance, high carbon, which actually means that it's going to rust pretty easy. So you want to make sure that you maintain your knife really well, oil it often. Um, maintain your knife like you maintain your guns. Clean it often, oil it often. I'd even recommend um, just always keeping a light coat of oil on your blade at all times because with it being O1 tool steel, it's excellent steel, but it will rust, especially in um, humid environments. So make sure that you always keep it nice and oiled and everything and then you won't have that problem. All right, the thickness is 0 0.24 inches or 6 millimeters. The overall length is 10.5 inches, 267 millimeters. And the weight on this is 9.1 ounces. So I mean, it feels absolutely incredible. It doesn't feel very heavy, but it's definitely got some weight behind it. Um, the handle is so beautiful. As you guys can see, it's really detailed. It's just a classical wrap in modern nylon. It has ray skin underlays. Oh, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the handle. And it's extremely, extremely grippy. So you can use this in any kind of weather conditions, and you're not going to have to worry about it you know, slipping out of your hand or anything. So it's extremely comfortable. All right, let's see. Now it comes with a sheath, which as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I like to keep my sheath right here tucked into my waistband. So it's just a regular black Kydex sheath. Now you can use this to attach it to your vest. You can use it um, to attach it to your leg holster. It has a really cool belt attachment, as you guys can see, which I don't, I don't normally wear a belt, so I wouldn't use this as much but I think it's still really cool. So you just pop these two little clips here, as you can see, and you can slide it up and down really easy. So you can get it on there really fast and you can deploy it really fast as well. Oh, I love that, I think that's really cool. But I prefer to actually just keep it right in my waistband, tucked in just like that. Um, if you're gonna do that though, you wanna make sure that you take these two screws right off. So that way it'll be a little more comfortable. Conceals really well, it's extremely comfortable. And uh, that's how I like to carry it. But like I said, you can wear it on your vest. It's Molly compatible, so you can put it right onto your backpack, leg holster, belt, a bunch of different ways that you can carry it. So the weight on the sheath is uh, 3.4 ounces. The overall length with the knife in it is 11.13 inches or 283 millimeters. Now, I think that's pretty much all the information on that. Um, also, there's a screw here that you can tighten or loosen and um, that'll, you know, change how the knife, how secure the knife fits in there. So if you, if you want to loosen it up so it's not in there as tight, you know, you just move that screw a little bit. Um, if you want to tighten it so it's in there a little bit firmer, you have to use a little bit more muscle to get it out, you know, you can just tighten that screw right up. So that's great. And as you guys can see, I mean, it's perfect right now the way that I have it. It's in there nice and secure. So you can get it out really easy, but 
it's also in there really nice and secure so it's not going to go anywhere on you so I think that's pretty much all the information and everything absolutely razor sharp it's flat ground so it's actually excellent for batoning believe it or not and it cuts really really well slices excellent um, yeah, like I said, I think that's all the information and everything. James actually carried this when he was in Africa, and the reason why he made this knife was for close quarter combat situations, but the great thing is that you can actually use this in any kind of survival situation. So, I mean, it, it really is great. You can use it for just about anything, batoning, cutting, and I'll show you guys all that in just a second. But yeah, it's, it's an incredible knife. It really is. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, you can use this for, for just about anything. So I'm going to show you guys now how well this does batoning, okay? Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys how well this does batoning now, okay? So you want to make sure that you have it on kind of a flat surface, so it's just easier to baton. So like I said, I took this with me camping and I batoned with it camping and I was really impressed with it. Batoned very well. As you can see, I've been batoning a couple of pieces already earlier today, just messing around. Built a little campfire here in the back, a little fire pit. So, as you can see, it does really well. Let's do one more, and we'll go uh, clear down some uh, some bushes and stuff. So that O1 tool steel is great, really nice, strong steel. So you can beat the hell out of it, and it's going to hold up really well. So, not bad. You guys can see. I got some wood to uh, to burn tonight. Do a little campfire. All right, so let's go and cut down some trees and stuff. All right, I got some overgrown stuff here, some overgrown grass and stuff. I'm gonna cut down and show you guys. So as you can see, cuts this stuff down pretty easy. It's a bunch of overgrown weeds and grass. Pretty pretty thick for some overgrown grass and weeds. Clear all this stuff right up. And it takes it down effortlessly. So let's go in and uh, cut down some tree limbs really quick. I mean, as you guys can see, it cuts down tree limbs pretty easy, too. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to quickly show you guys what this is capable of. And I'm going to be making some more testing videos soon for you guys, too. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys what this could do. So, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys soon. Take care.